So today I'm going to show you how you can put Metal Slug into your Mac computer. For you PC players, it's a lot easier, but this is for Mac users. I will put the two links down below. First, you need to install what I'm highlighting right here. And then one of the Metal Slugs, which will be a zip file. So once you install those two files, bring them to your desktop like I have right here the Neo Rage V5.4 and make sure you have those files in there. Go to Spotlight and look up Wine. And if you don't know how to use Wine on a Mac, go watch the tutorial videos about how to use Wine or else you will get very lost. Make sure that all your wrappers are up to date and you select the most current wrapper. Once you do that, you want to go down and create a new blank wrapper. I just need mine arcade. And once you do that, OK. And as you, and as you know with wine, the process takes a little bit. So you press OK. OK, once you get it all downloaded, you will put it in the folder which you have your directory. And then you bring it to the desktop. Or wherever you want. Go to show code contact packages. There you go, you see those three items. Go to driver C, program files, and drag the main near rage. Now make sure that ROM, the capital R O M. Double click, make sure it's there, and drag your metal slug zip file right in there. So do not unzip it. Go to the wine skin, right click, go to advance. Of course the main screen will pop up. When you go to browser, go to your program files, put in your rage, and do the exe file. Choose. Now let's test run this. Test. Of course, it will take a little time to boot right up. And so far, it's looking good. And up at the top, you will see that it looks like we do have it, after, especially after I do the refresh. Up oh, there it is. So. Let's just go to the controls right there, and I'll just let you watch. So it looks like it is working so far, so I will speed this up just to show you. So it turns out you do need free mode on, so you go right there, turn free mode on, and let's get right back into the game. So that little video uh, thing is not bad. So it just happens now and then, but video is perfectly fine with this. So to play the game, as you see, it's perfectly, perfectly working. You press F1. One or F1, forgot which button it was. So you see, I'm doing pretty terrible right now, but it is working. Yeah, I just died right there. Oh well, so as you see that this is working just fine. So yeah. It's, it can work mainly on the computer, but it can work with the Mac just as easily, especially if you know how to use Wine.
I just died right there. Okay, well, I purposely died. And you see there, I purposely died just to show you that you don't just lose once you die. You just press 1 or F1, I forgot which one it was, and then you just start right back up. So you can keep on continuing. No coins. Hence the free play. And of course, to exit, you just press the escape button. Now we see the test has gone good, so let's exit out of all this, and let's just press our little arcade, double click, and it goes, come on, there we go, goes right into it. As you can see, it's still there. So all we need to do is go down to it, there we go, metal slug, and let's press play. And also, you don't have to start over each time, just say you want to play a round or two. And actually, there is a save mode, so you can save where you are and just pick back up where you left off. So let's get to it. So you press F11 to save. I believe you press Enter. And okay, so let's walk forward a bit just to make sure. See, save state. See, it's right there. So let's keep on continuing forward. Now see we got a load state, see? Right back there. And it just set me back where I saved. Hence save mode, kind of the obvious. So load again. Let's press enter. And as you can see, this is right back where I had my save state. So if you want to keep on trying to do speed runs, this is exactly how you can do it. So this is how you can play Metal Slug on the Mac or any of those arcade games on your Mac computer. Just put it right into the ROM file, press refresh, and there we go. So, thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you in my next video. If I do, in fact, make another video.